YouTube, Kibba4472 here, back with part two of the Minecraft Survival series. And well, it's the this is the exact space we left off last episode, and you may notice the base is looking a little little tad different. That's because I added some walls in and so I decided where everything was going to go. So let me give you a house tour sort of thing. Base tour sort of thing so far. So this is what I'm thinking. I've left a little... Oh yeah, there was another um, um, squad of illagers that came by. Pillagers that came by. And I killed them. Which is why I got Bucket Man. Because I had to go get some milk. So I left a bit of space here. Because I was hoping I could maybe make like a classic Jeb door. I might just abandon that and go with the normal front door. But I probably will do that though. And here we have the bedroom with the bell. With the bell. The bell. <laughs> you mm, praise the bell. Okay. And then in here we'll have an enchanting room and uh, probably I'll put an anvil or two in here. Mm -hmm. And then in here, well, this is where my storage room is going to be. As you can see, I moved all my stuff in here. And furnaces and crafting table. This is going to be the big automatic storage system. And uh, this is the room I've got laid out for me villagers now i might i'm probably gonna have to change where this is because it's not it's not big enough so i'll probably change and i might make it along this wall because you can't do it with the windows so i'll probably mix it up a bit but what we need to do today now is we need to make the roof for the house because at the minute i'm not having <laughs> To all the torches, I've got to light it up a lot because um, there's a lot of mob spawns, uh, and I, I mean a lot. Like, yeah, like there's pff, there's more than ten zombies in here. Well, I logged on and it was night, and I came came in here to drop my chests and furnaces and stuff, and there were like ten zombies, and I just thought, nope, and he yeah, just ran out. But yeah, I'll get some wood, and actually, there was a spruce forest somewhere over there. Over there, in the distance somewhere. So I'll have to go... I And I'm thinking I'm going to use spruce for the roof. So I'll go and get some spruce. And then do the roof. Okay. Okay, so I just thought maybe... Um, because the spruce forest is like a couple thousand of blocks, either that way or that way, um, it might be wiser to use dark oak, because they are very si similar in colour tone. And the only, and yeah, and I don't think you'd notice it wasn't spruce. And the and I, if I needed spruce, I'd just go get some spruce because the only the only time I ever really use spruce is for its trapdoors because it the spruce is the best trapdoor. Whether whether yeah, that that's final. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm just going to use dark oak because they they look the same. Honestly, you can't really tell them apart. So I'm going to use dark oak. Yeah. And uh, see you guys when I put the roof up. Okay, so here it is. Um, so I added the roof in. Uh, it's quite flat now. I think. Yeah, it might. I might change it later on in this series. Oh, but for now, I like it. And I added lots of flowers around the outside, just to make it a little, little nice. But I changed the interior. So if you follow me in here, these doors never used to be here. So, this is where I'm going to put my villager trading hall. So you'd have village villagers on this side, and maybe villagers on this side, because there's enough room for it. But yeah, and then, yeah. And then through here is still that hallway, and you've got uh, where my bed is, and then you've got where I'll put my enchanted table. And then in here, you've got the villager trading hall room again. But then, And then here will be my storage room, and I've move my chest in here but um now i need to go mining because oh well i am a little icky bicky little little sleep skint on the old iron so i'm gonna take this and this and make an iron pickaxe i'm gonna make some torches and then we're gonna go mining so i'll see you guys after i've been mining <laughs>
Okay, so if you were paying close attention in that uh, short little time lapse of me mining, you might you might notice uh, we found some of the good stuff. We found some of the diamonds. Okay, but yeah, so I'll decide what to do with those in a later video. Uh, since I got five of them, I was thinking maybe a um, pickaxe and a sword, but I wouldn't want to make them until we got a mending villager, preferably, so I wouldn't lose them. But yeah, so what I'm thinking we do, lastly in the ep this episode, is well, I've been a little short on food. I've had to go out many, many, many times to to get to get this um, steak and cooked mutton. So I've made a design, and well, if we just uh, go quickly, yeah, da 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 There we are. Okay, so this is what I have designed. Okay, so. Instead of eyeballing it and just building it, I've actually designed it. This is what it looks like. It's got three layers, one potatoes, carrots and wheat. And well, in the actual design, I'm not going to use as many hoppers be just because I don't have that much iron. But yeah, okay. So this design, it, it's very, it works quite well. Uh, I have tested it, hence it's being empty. Yeah, it's got an FK spot up here, so I can FK food. But yeah, so... I shall see you guys when I have built it. Okay, so here it is. Now, so I can see it, have you see it in the form of a term lapse. Uh, it was I logged on and off in between because this this took quite a lot of grinding for all the gravel and sand I needed. But yeah, now, and now it's completed. Obviously, well, it's not completed. I still need to add a few details. Like I need to add the big glass cage and the ladders, but oh, and then next episode we'll add the um, dispensers and redstone components. But I'm afraid that's all the time we're going to have for this episode. So, if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>